sounds of Continental Dave Manning, Tanya. <laughs> and Dave is such an interesting guy. Of course, we've had a chance to chat with him. He travels all the time with his, I think his first love of his life, Vincent, which uh, happens to be so. his VW. Um, and he's just a marvelous entertainer and a marvelous individual. Uh, Dave, welcome to the program as always. Well, yeah, thanks for having me back on. You mm -hmm. just returned from Scotland, speaking I, of Continental. <laughs> Continental Dave. Continental. <laughs> yes. Yes, I did just return from Scotland, play a few gigs over there. And, mm -hmm. uh, and visited someone special, are we allowed yes. to say that? Yeah, yes, I visited someone special. The, uh, the, the short story is I was at an arts festival in uh, late August and, and completely fell in love with this girl and it's a wonderful thing, except that she's Scottish and she lives in Scotland. <laughs> but hey, they say but sometimes the, the long, uh, the far away love affairs work better than the ones that are right in the close. Well, yeah, you don't take things for granted, no. Yeah. But so I was. see the person, it's a special. Yeah. 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 yeah exactly. That makes it yeah. so special for uh, uh, Listen, how have you been since we saw you last? Catch us up. So I, I've, well, I've been great. Yeah, so I was over in Scotland okay. for six weeks and mm -hmm. played some gigs over there, and now I'm back in uh, Arizona touring around in my little bus for about six weeks, and then I'm going to actually head back over to Scotland oh, really? for a few months. And Excellent. You love this life, don't you? The, yeah, the life yeah. on the road. Yeah, we were talking about that during the break, that mm -hmm. it is a different life to kind of be in motion all the time. Because it, for me, one thing is I got rid of all my stuff. Like, I've got some stuff in storage, but it's mostly my records, you know, my record collection, photographs, and copies of my CDs, you know. Oh, I love it. You call it stuff, too. We just have too <laughs> much stuff. Yeah, and so it, you know, most, all it's my stuff, knickknacks, it's all gone. I just live in, live in a bus, and like, and I realize... Like when you go on a hike and maybe you find a rock, you're like, oh, I should take this rock home because it's a really pretty rock or something. I know I can. I know I can enjoy it, yeah. and then I put it back down. Doesn't I can't it give you a sense of real freedom? Yeah, it is. I mean, you know, it's well, like Bob Dylan said, you know, the, is the bird really f free from the chains of the skyway? Mm -hmm. But so it's, it's relative, but mm -hmm. at the same time, yeah, I think it's not so much that it's free. I think it's that it keeps me very grounded, yeah. that you realize you know, this is what life is. It could end at any moment. And the things that you get in your life, you've got to, like, take them in and let them go back out. You've got to let it flow through. I don't know if you realize or not, but I think probably a lot of people are envious of your lifestyle. I know every time you're on the show, I feel, boy, I'd love to do what Dave's doing just once. Well, well, you should. That's the thing. Is, you know, at There's some point in your life, it. say, hey, you know what, next year I'm going to take a year off. And I'm going to buy some little ratty RV and, and drive around and see some stuff. It's a beautiful country. Gay would love a year's vacation from you. Well, <laughs> there you go. Dave, I wish you'd play some. By the way, you wrote this for, your, for Mary. Yeah, yeah, I wrote this for the Scottish girl. Uh, actually, right after I was in the show here last time, a few months ago, uh, I was at a friend's place down in Tucson. They have this 100-year-old upright piano. And I was sitting there one morning after they had gone to work drinking my coffee. And and just kind of, well, I like to say this, I just found this song inside the piano. It just kind of came. How, what a wonderful Great. way to yeah. put that. Dave, you're just full of it today. Okay. Con Continental Dave yeah, Maynard. Right. Continental. <laughs> so this one's kind of about that thing. Uh, I guess it's uh, that thing where it's interesting to meet someone and fall in love a little bit later in your life. and. The chorus of the song is, is kind of, where have you been all my life? But at the same time, in talking with Mary, it's very clear that if we had met earlier in life, it wouldn't have worked. And so it's, that's kind of the concept. Wait a 
Do you know, with my limited education on music, I would call your voice smoky. Well, when you yeah. sing, I think it, it just it is such and a unique smoky comes to my mind. Very well I don't put. know if that's a description. Very well put. That's a good one. Yeah. Uh, Tanya, by the way, uh, real quickly, Thursday, January 28th, don't miss Dave. Dave's going to be at the Glendale Public Library at 7 mm -hmm. p.m. It's an absolutely free show. All you folks in Glendale are going to be in for a treat. The Public Library, 7 p.m. free show. Uh, Oak Creek, uh, that's... Uh, the Oak Creek so Brewing Company tonight. 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 7 p.m. Get a chance to see Dave there and Kins Creekside in Sedona Saturday at 7 p.m. You're in so for a special treat. Great song, by the way, Dave. Yes. Well, thank you. Thank Appreciate you. Appreciate you guys having me on. More from Dave later in the show, but first we're going to talk to Laura Winifred when we come back talking about the YMCA. You stay there.